this video is the second part of the common components of kanji. For the first part of the common components and basic kanji writing rules, please click on the link in the description or click on the link on the screen. Let's get started. We start from a dot on top, a long horizontal stroke, and two short horizontal strokes, followed by the box or the mouth. Follow the writing sequence properly to create beautiful kanji with balanced structure in the box. The meaning for this kanji, it means word or say, or sometimes even means language. When it's used as a radical, it's usually appeared on the left, write it a bit slimmer. Observe the right side. You can write in three parts, top, middle, and bottom. And follow the sequence. It's always top to bottom, left to right. This kanji should be familiar even to beginners. Yomu, yomu. Or for onyomi, we have doku or toku, like dokshō. So the meaning is to read. Next component starts from a dot, then a slanted and a curved stroke, and then two dots. It looks like a heart and it is the heart. Kokoro. If it's onyomi, it's shin, like anshin suru da shin. An example kanji is draw the heart first, and then one stroke across the heart. And that is the kananazu. Always without exception, certainly without fail. The next component, we have the crown or the roof. We have to draw the decoration first, followed by the roof or the tiara. Here is an example. We draw the roof or the crown first, and two strokes enter the roof, followed by the bottom. And this word means the sky. Sola. Onyomi will normally read as ku, like kuki. We start from drawing a pointy bracket, and then a slanted stroke, and then a horizontal stroke. It looks like a curvy and dancing person. Just be careful of the balance of this component in the box. And this word is female or women. Onna o jose. When it's used as a radical, it's usually on the left and it slims down. Put a ko on the right, we have the ski o koi. It means like or affection. The next component, it looks like the word moon, tsuki, but actually it is the simplified version of niku, meat or flesh. When it's used as radical, it means the body part. When it's used as radical, it is again very slim and it's on the left. The right hand side, we have three dots, a cross, and a half box. This actually is our brain. No. The next component, we draw a box first, put in the two lines and close the box, and followed by haji, like number eight. The sequence is really important. And the meaning of this component is shell, kai. When it's used as a radical, it can appear on the left or at the bottom. So this is an example. We write the word zi or tsuki on top, followed by this shell at the bottom. Since in the olden times, shells are used as currency, so kanji with this kai normally relates to money. This kanji is pronounced as xi and it means funds. The next component is really easy, just one horizontal stroke, it's left to right, and it's iji. It means one, 
and an example kanji is this word. Be careful, it only has three strokes, or the second one looks like a chair. The last component goes through the whole character. Ataeru or tomoni, it means together or to give or provide. The last component is very symmetrical. It has a lot of strokes. We start from a person, two horizontal strokes, one vertical stroke, two dots, and then one horizontal stroke again. Just be careful, the first horizontal stroke is shorter. This word can be read as kane or kin. It means gold or money. When it's used as a radical, it can appear on the left. Again, it becomes slimmer. And the meaning can mean metal sometimes. This kanji is hari, the needle. The next kanji is also very symmetrical. We start from a slanted small stroke, a horizontal stroke, and a vertical one, and left, right. It is read as ine or ka. It means rice, grain, or crops. When it's used as a radical, it can appear on the left, become slimmer. And a very familiar kanji to all of you is watashi. It's watashi. It's watashi. I or me. So everybody needs grain or rice to survive. And it also means private. The next component we write something like a number three first and a vertical stroke. And it's read as fu. This radical is quite interesting. When it's used on the left, it means a heel, but when it appears on the right, it means group. An example kanji is when this is used on the left, it's a heel and a heel sometimes can be dangerous. So this is ken or kiken, which means dangerous. 